Before drinking your next cup of coffee, watch this video first. No one knows exactly how or when coffee was discovered, although there are many myths surrounding this. Many believe that coffee was first discovered in Ethiopia. There is a story that tells of a shepherd named Kaldi from Ethiopia in the 11th century AD who first discovered the potential of these beloved beans. The name Kofi is derived from the region and a city in southwest Ethiopia called Kaffa. He noticed that when he took his herd to graze and they consumed a certain plant, they became very energetic and did not sleep at night. Kaldi shared this observation with a monk from a local monastery who also realized that by drinking the coffee, he could stay awake for long hours. The monk shared his discovery with other monks, and their energizing properties of the beans quickly spread among the people. Local monks began to dry the beans and send them to other monasteries. Over time, the dried beans made their way to the Middle East, gaining many enthusiasts. Coffee cultivation began for the first time among farmers in Yemen. The first time these beans sprouted and transformed into the seeds we recognize as coffee today was in Turkey. After roasting, the dried beans were ground and boiled in water, creating the initial version of the beverage we now know as coffee. Likely, coffee was first introduced to Europe by Venetian merchants. Due to its stimulating effects, there were many criticisms from Catholics claiming the drink to be wicked and demonic. However, the Pope, who enjoyed coffee himself, declared to his members that the beverage was simply misunderstood and there was no impediment to drinking it. Coffee houses quickly spread across Europe and soon became gathering places for intellectuals and venues for discussions and debates among them. The first time immigrants arrived in America, this dark beverage quickly gained popularity. During the American Revolution, when patriots refused to drink tea in protest, coffee was embraced as the national beverage. Since then, coffee has been recognized as the most beloved beverage in all countries. Top Coffee Producing Countries in the World According to reports published by the International Coffee Organization, the top 10 coffee producing countries are as follows. Number 1. Brazil Number 2. Vietnam Number 3. Colombia Number 4. Indonesia Number 5. Ethiopia Number 6. Honduras Number 7. India Number 8. Uganda Number 9. Mexico Number 10. Peru These 10 countries hold over 87% of the market share for this commodity. Brazil is recognized as the largest producer, accounting for nearly 40% of the world's coffee production. Many regions in Brazil have a climate perfectly suited for coffee cultivation. Coffee farms cover approximately 27,000 square kilometers in Brazil, with the majority located in Minas Gerais, Sao Paulo, and Parana. Brazil distinguishes itself from most coffee producing countries by sun drying the unwashed coffee cherries instead of washing them. The country's impact on coffee production is so significant that the 60 kilogram bags historically used for exporting beans from Brazil remain the global standard for measurement, production, and trade. Different types of coffee beans Coffee beans come in various types, and you've probably heard of the names Arabica and Robusta. In reality, coffee is not limited to just these two types, but these two well-known varieties constitute the majority of the world's coffee consumption. Arabica, Robusta, Liberica, and Excelsa are four types of coffee beans that we will introduce. Robusta Robusta coffee beans are less expensive than Arabica beans because they are easier to cultivate. However, the lower price tag should not deceive you as Robusta contains higher amounts of caffeine and can pack a strong punch to your mornings. Robusta is popular in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. It has a strong and bitter taste and is commonly used in instant coffee or espresso drinks. Taste strong and bitter. Caffeine content, high. Arabica. Arabica coffee beans are abundantly found in various parts of the world, such as North America, Brazil, and Vietnam. Those who enjoy brewing their coffee often choose Arabica for its sweet and mild flavor. This type of coffee plant requires more attention to maintain its sweetness, and therefore, it is sold at a higher price. Arabica also has moderate amounts of caffeine compared to other beans. Taste, sweet and mild. Caffeine content, Moderate. Liberica. Liberica beans, rarer than any other type, are renowned for their robustness. Cultivated natively in Central and West Africa, this type of coffee brings a prominent and smoky flavor to your palate. Since Liberica requires warm and humid climates for growth, it is not widely produced on a large scale. If you ever find yourself in Indonesia or the Philippines, be sure to treat yourself to a cup of smoky and naughty Liberica coffee. Taste, 
naughty and smoky. Caffeine content, low. Excelsa. Excelsa coffee beans are essentially a variety of the Liberica bean and are primarily grown in Southeast Asia. This plant thrives best at higher attitudes, with tree heights ranging from 6 to 9 meters. Excelsa imparts a sour and fruity taste to your coffee cup and is usually blended with other beans to achieve a richer taste. Taste, sour and fruity. Caffeine content, low. Three popular methods for preparing and serving coffee are, first, Turkish, second, French press, and third, espresso. Turkish coffee brewing method. The Turkish method is one of the ancient ways of brewing coffee that is still used in the Middle East, North Africa, Turkey, and Greece. In this method, coffee is powered into a jezbe, a small coffee pot, along with water, and it is allowed to slowly come to a boil. Now we're going to talk about the precise preparation method for this type of coffee. The coffee beans should be ground to the finest size. First, pour cold water into the jezve. For each cup of coffee, fill about three-fourths of the cup with cold water and pour it into the jezve. The water level should reach the beginning of the neck or constriction of the jezve, and it should not overflow, otherwise it may spill. Now add the coffee powder to the water. For each Turkish coffee cup of water, you will need two teaspoons of coffee. After a short period, approximately 2 minutes, when the temperature reaches about 70 degrees Celsius, the coffee starts to bubble around the edges. The gathering of bubbles create a layer on the surface of the coffee, known as coffee foam or cream. At this stage, remove the coffee from heat to let the temperature and foam settle a bit. Never let the temperature exceed 75 degrees Celsius as it may extract too much flavor from the coffee, resulting in a burnt taste. Carefully and slowly return the boiling coffee to low heat and repeat this process three times until the coffee foam gains consistency. Now pour the coffee gently into the cup and enjoy your drink. French Press Coffee Brewing Method French press coffee, one of the easiest ways to brew coffee, especially at home or in the office, and is also thinner than other types of coffee. It is prepared using a French press or an electric French coffee maker that can keep it warm for an extended period. French coffee roasting done locally in the 19th century has been one of the darkest roasts and it is still roasted to the same degree. During the French coffee roasting process, the internal temperature of the coffee beans reaches a very high level, around 240 degrees Celsius. As the coffee gets darker, more oil is present on the beans. For this reason, French roasted coffee beans have a darker color and are coated with oil. In comparison, a cup of French pressed coffee has less caffeine than a cup of espresso. Espresso Coffee Brewing Method Espresso coffee is ground finer than French press and coarser than Turkish coffee and is brewed using a special espresso machine. In this method, water is forced through the coffee under high pressure, extracting the coffee essence completely. Espresso is served in a smaller cup compared to Turkish coffee and it forms a thin and bright layer on top without any grounds. Espresso is one of the most popular and beloved coffees worldwide. It serves as the best for various drinks like lungo, cappuccino, latte, americano, and more. Today, with the advancements of technology, industrial equipments have been developed for brewing coffee and producing various beverages from these magical beans. Over time, these machines have become more advanced, leading to increases in the quality of the produced coffee. Such equipments include both industrial, and home coffee makers. Following are five of the best home espresso machines in 2023. Best espresso machine overall, Breville Barista Express Impress. Best value espresso machine, DeLonghi Stelosa. Best upgrade espresso machine, Rancilio Silvia. Best fully automatic espresso machine, Jura E8. Best Portable Espresso Machine, Vakeko Pico Presso Portable. Properties of Coffee Coffee contains minerals and is rich in antioxidants. The most important active substance in coffee is caffeine. After consumption, caffeine is immediately absorbed by the body, enters the bloodstream and directly affects the central nervous system. It initially inhibits adenosine, which is responsible for the feeling of tiredness and drowsiness and then influences the production of norepinephrine and dopamine, increasing the production. Norepinephrine is essential for maintaining focus, emotional control, learning and perception, while dopamine is the key factor in abilities, energy and pleasure. This is why students 
and learners, especially during exam nights, when they feel drowsy and tired, often find relief and increased control over their behavior and learning after consuming a cup of coffee, they experience more energy and happiness. Various experiments on humans have shown that coffee can impact brain performance, including aspects such as memory, mood, alertness, energy, reaction time, and cognitive function. Caffeine induces the release of adrenaline, leading to increased energy, metabolism, and vitality in humans. Therefore, having a cup of coffee in the morning before leaving home or in the afternoon after a long working day can provide a sense of energy, joy, and motivation for future activities. In the following, we will delve into the characteristics of coffee. Benefits of bitter coffee for the liver. The liver is a vital organ in the body and various diseases such as hepatitis and fatty liver can lead to conditions like cirrhosis, causing the liver to become damaged. It has been proven that the benefits of bitter coffee for the liver can protect against cirrhosis and individuals who consume approximately 4 cups of coffee per day are 80% less likely to be exposed to this disease. Coffee is usually consumed with sugar and milk, however if you can consume it better without sugar, its effects will be more pronounced. Other Benefits of Coffee for the Body Various experiments have highlighted the fat-burning effects of caffeine, making it a common ingredient in weight loss supplements and diets. A cup of coffee contains various substances such as vitamin B2, B5, manganese, potassium, magnesium, and niacin. Consuming 3-4 to four cups of coffee per day can provide your body with the necessary amounts of these nutrients. One of the benefits of coffee is its potential to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, protect against Parkinson's disease, act as a safeguard against Alzheimer's, and contribute to preventing cognitive decline. Coffee consumption is also highly effective in preventing and improving depressive conditions. Drawbacks of coffee Like any other substance, moderation should be observed when consuming coffee. Even a small amount of coffee can lead to increased blood pressure, making it less suitable for individuals with hypertension. Additionally, coffee can cause the exertion of a small amount of calcium from the body, which may contribute to bone fragility with excessive consumption. Adverse effects of coffee and overconsumption can affect the nervous system, disrupt sleep and increase irritability. Some reports suggest that excessive coffee intake may lead to reflux, stomach acid regurgitation, and gastric irritation in susceptible individuals. Similar to tea, coffee contains some tannins, therefore individuals suffering from anemia or iron deficiency should drink coffee one hour before or two hours after their meals. Due to its impact on the nervous system, it is advisable for pregnant women to reduce or completely avoid coffee consumption during pregnancy. If a woman experiences recurrent miscarriages or fertility issues, discontinuing coffee consumption may be recommended. Coffee is a massive industry worldwide, employing millions of workers. Beyond being a source of livelihood for many, coffee serves as an excellent way for numerous people to kickstart their day. Even if you don't enjoy drinking coffee, the fresh aroma is likely to captivate your senses. If you don't like coffee, you're in the minority on a global scale. While this dark beverage isn't for everyone, for its enthusiasts who benefit from a daily dose of caffeine, it's considered a daily necessity. I personally enjoy espresso with a bit of milk and sugar. What type of coffee do you prefer? Comment below. Thank you for joining us until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to see more videos. Until the next time, take care.